so today I'm going to be doing a Lego DIY video. So yeah, I have um um pretty much a lot of Lego friends. Well, not a lot. So I will do a tour of all of my Lego friends, and uh, yeah, um because I think it's just fun to build stuff and stuff. I don't know why, but I I know if I'm gonna come um become an engineer, but I'm not really sure about that. Let me close this. And uh, yeah, so I will be showing three awesome and cute DIYs for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so happy. I, I I don't know why I did it, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. My first DIY for you guys is wardrobe. So for this DIY, you will need some rubber bands of your choice. A piece of fabric and a skizzer. So let's get started. I, person I personally really like this DIY because I don't need just any wardrobes in Lego friends or just any clothes they come with it. So I'm just going to do a wardrobe of my choice and I will then, hmm, I'm going to go to sleep and then I will just put on the wardrobe and put my, um, Little Lego friend inside the quilt, which I will be showing you guys how to make a quilt too. Yeah. So I'm gonna be modeling with Lizzie, and yeah. Oh 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 my gosh! For some reason, my hand under this because of the sunlight and the camera, it looks a little old. I I, I don't know. So you want it to be about the size that will cover it up, and I'm going to use one to, um, to. For Olivia, for some reasons, because I I really like Olivia and and yeah, I use her as me for some reasons. I don't really have a really really favorite Lego, so yeah. Now that you're done cutting, it will look something like this, and you want it to look something like this, if you and uh, yeah. So I will spread it out later. So this is what the wardrobe looks like, and if you spread it out, it will look something like this. Okay, is this a little too bright? I don't know. So, yeah, it's super cute. So now, right now, I'm going to model with Olivia, which is doing one of her set of normal clothes. So we are going to raise up her hand like this, or just whatever Lego figure you decide to do it for. And you're just going to wrap it around her like, um, like a little towelette. And yeah, this is super cute. And... What you want to do now is when it's done with like doing it and you can like me put a big bow around it but this is a little too big so I'm not going to do that and you can just use a um a rubber band which I'm not going to I'm not going to use this one I'm just going to store it in here and I will show you guys what kind of rubber band is the best where did you go I'll be just here where did you go Anyways, I guess I, I will search for her hair later. So yeah, right now she's bald. Cute. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap it around her. Raise up her hand, of course. And you're just going to wrap it around her. Like, uh, like um, a little mommy, I guess. And you are going to use a pack of rainbow loom um, bracelet um, rubber bands. And I'm going to use the pink one. Second, I will be showing you guys a quilt. For this DIY, you will need a piece of fabric. Um, here you go, Olivia. Where's my skeezer? Oh, here's my skeezer. You're going to need some scissors. Skeezers. And you're just going to cut however big the bed is. So, I will be showing you guys Olivia's house. And I did, and I will be showing you guys Stephanie's dream house. I mean, this be a child, not Stephanie's dream house. I, w I wish they have a Stephanie's and Olivia's dream house. Like, I made Stephanie and Ol Olivia BFFs. Yeah, BFFs, you heard it right. And then I will be teaching you guys how to do some thorough pillows. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so this is what the quilt world looks like. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if Olivia's bad is this. I'm actually charging my iPad right now. See, this is a really useful cable. I will be going over all of these Lego things later. So here, right here, is the house. So, yeah. 
Oh, and these are some of the throw pillows I designed. So these are the throw pillows. So yeah, so yeah, you're just gonna put the quilt over there. Oh yeah, and here is a really big pillow for somebody who wants to slip. I mean sleep, not slip. Anyway, so yeah. So I think that the idea is super cute and yeah. So for this DIY, you will be needing skeezers, washi tapes. I think wash washi tapes are the best because these are so decorative, and these are like um, and duct tapes are way bigger than this, you know. So yeah, you will and you will also need a sponge piece. For some of I'll start start cutting your sponge piece into a pillow size like this much. And you want to just cut it and cut it. Uh, uh, uh. Voila! And if you have any excess, just clip that off and you will get a little foam piece. Of course, you can just use this as a pillow, but I like to be a little more decorated. So you, you just have to choose some of these washi tapes. And I will be choosing this one because I haven't used this one as a pillow yet. So yeah. You can use whatever washi tapes you want. Now, you just want to cut off a little piece enough to cover up your pillow. And yeah, you just want to like cover up the pillow as much as you can. And my pillow side is just right. Ooh, 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 it fell down, it fell down. Some can be a little flyish, you know, you get what I mean? So now you, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all of my DIYs and see you in the next video. Because I'm happy. Because I'm happy. Okay, that's just weird.